2023 at 2.30 p.m. Next item is Parks and Recreation. I have an alternate motion for that. I would like to make an alternate motion to adjust the rate of 12 lifeguards to thir from yeah to 13.65 per hour grade A for Monday through Friday and 15.06 per hour on Saturday and Sundays and adjust the rate for one lifeguard supervisor 16 hours to Excuse me Mr. Chairman we should only do one at a okay, time. Sorry. It's all right. Is that in the form of a motion? Yes. Do we have a second? I would second it. Mr. Severchak. Yes. Mr. Honor. And you said that was what, 15 what? 1506? Yeah, it's one and a quarter, not one and a half. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. No, All right. Yes. Mr. Lukasevich? It's not sufficient to make a difference, no. Mr. Notes time. Yes. All right, the next item is the lifeguard supervisor. I just uh, I make an alternate motion to adjust the rate for one lifeguard supervisor, 16 hours per hour, grade one SA, from Monday through Friday and 24 hours per hour on Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. I make that as a motion. Could you repeat that, please? Adjust the rate of one lifeguard supervisor to $16 an hour, which it currently is, grade S1A, for Monday through Friday and 24 hours per hour on Saturday and Sunday. Do we have a second? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just thinking about this, if that was even good at the 1506, because now the... By, by Roberts. Uh, yeah. Since that can be changed, we can go back and rediscuss that first yeah, motion if Rocky session. were in the same session. Yeah. So if Rocky has some yeah, concerns. Because, well, like my concern is like we're we're getting the lifeguard and the supervisor like pretty close to the same salary. Um, my concern is. Oh, sorry if you're. No, okay. no, and. Um, and I mean, I just wanted to make a comment about this before. And if anybody had any like questions here, um, we do want to raise the salaries. I mean, we, it, there's a problem that we have that we can't get lifeguards. And uh, I think what people don't realize that the training is different uh, for at a pool than it is at a lake. And a lot of the area pools that I have called are having trouble getting lifeguards also. And they're thinking about putting the rate up. Um, and I think I've said this before, if we don't have lifeguards, um, we're losing anywhere from three to $5,000 a day. Uh, and I think that's one of the things, uh, why we want to adjust this. And, uh, and it's not just over that. I think it's a liability that we have. I mean, you have a liability of just swim at your own risk. I mean, that's, that's a great liability to the county. And, uh, like I said, I'm not sure now about that 1506. I thought we were, it, that was going to be another one, that that was going to be raised. But I think it's pretty close for the regular lifeguard to the supervisor. And um, I mean, I don't, I'm not so sure about that 1506 now. Well, I um, certainly believe the lifeguards and the supervisor are well worth it. But to give the supervisor an eight dollar an hour increase, even on a, just a Saturday and Sunday, and the uh, the uh, lifeguards themselves, the twelve lifeguards, an hour forty one, they have a very difficult job. It's not like a swimming swimming pool in the municipalities where you can see the bottom. I'm more concerned about the repercussions. We already have an issue with salaries and. Uh, disparity in a lot of the positions and my other question would be is it in the budget and that's the question you always ask the other row officers and people that come for a raise is it in the budget well in regards to being in the budget or the ability to create a return on investment over the entire season the motions that are actually on the agenda 
would cost the county $8,476.80, about $282 uh, a day uh, for those weekends. That would result in anywhere from, let's see, uh, the actual data would be, my gosh, anywhere the potential uh, revenue of 3000 just go by the minimum, $3,000 a day times those 30 weekend days, significant uh, return uh, on investment. So it's well worth the investment. The repercussion in regards to, let's say, disenfranchising current employees, I'd be more than willing to make a motion uh, that would allow any county employee who is certified uh, to hold a second seasonal position and work on Saturdays and Sundays and earn either the 2048 per hour that is proposed or the 24. Uh, every individual in this county has an opportunity to apply for those jobs to include uh, county employees. And if we have to modify a personnel policy to do so, to give them that opportunity, just like they have an opportunity to go to union positions if they're concerned about the benefits union employees have. $15.06 from 1365 is not going to motivate an existing uh, lifeguard to work uh, a Saturday <coughs> and Sunday. And I would disagree that not yeah. every uh, county employee would be capable of they performing wouldn't. that lifeguard they duty wouldn't. as well. So, and you do have families in life on the weekends. So. But again, we're not discriminating by saying you can't earn that. We're providing an opportunity for employees to earn $20.48 an hour, either new or, or existing, I would see it. I just, and, you, and even like if you're going back to like the job descriptions, like <coughs> I don't know where you would even like the whole, almost like the whole state is having trouble with life oh, alerts. And how do you actually even gauge a job description for this? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think this is something this to me is a temporary fix, and I think the way it started out was we wanted to get lifeguards here and give them an incentive for the weekend. So if we're going to more of an incentive during the week, are they even going to show up on the weekends? You know, it, it's, I don't know. It, yeah. that, that's where, yeah. where I'm going at. Can, can I ask for clarification, please? Mm -hmm. On the lifeguard supervisor, I heard... Their, their current rate is $16 an hour, mm -hmm. Monday through Friday. And on Saturdays and Sundays, I heard $24 per hour. That is, that is That's not an alternate motion. That's exactly what's on the agenda. Exactly. Yeah, oh, exactly. Sorry. That is it. Oh, sorry. It was, it was yeah. Off the wrong word. Yeah, so I think 20. 20, 20 is what he had on his... Yeah. If I can yeah. correct it, it's yeah. not too late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I think we have a motion on the floor the just on that on one, that and then we could return the to the first yeah. one if yeah. you want to supersede. Yeah. Well, further discussion on that. The plan for the lifeguard supervisor is he or she, it's currently a, he, is already currently scheduled to work Saturdays and Sundays. Right? That, that is part of the, of the, the details that the park director has provided. For that particular individual, obviously, that those are the high, high usage days. So I, I can't see the logic of going from 16 to 20 for that individual, yet going up, going more or less a buck and a half for for the lifeguards. There's an inequality there. I, I don't see the logic of that. I could see a logic if you you put up the supervisor about the the same amount. But taking him up $4, uh, uh, and it, it but just doesn't... been doing the same thing going from the original proposal of uh, 1365 to 20 which was uh, about uh, $6, $7 an hour, yeah. and lifeguard or the supervisor $8. So. But that was equal. We were taking them both up what would be the equivalent of time and a half. And right. Take it, uh, <coughs> quarter. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we do have a motion on the floor for what is exactly on the agenda. Do we have a second? I would like to amend that to 20 in the proposal, especially since the, uh, the other one passed. So. Is it still open for discussion? 
Well, do we need a second for that amendment, though? A uh, second for the modification, yeah. sure. I was concerned about, I think, the same as you gentlemen, two things, the liability exposure to the county, which could be obviously huge, and then weighing the financial commitment to uh, attract and retain lifeguards. And I, I think I would agree with Commissioner Lucas Savage if we were less fair with lifeguards and may not attract and retain lifeguards, but yet we're looking to do 50% increase on the supervisors. Now it's going to be amended. So... I'm not sure what level would be enough to do that. Maybe you gentlemen have more knowledge than I do. Yeah, and, and what my question was, even like when we were talking about this for the last couple of weeks, I think we had a discussion. I think it has to do with like the rotation also. Mm -hmm. You know, if you put somebody in rotation and they're working so many hours during the week, do they want to work on the weekends? You know, you have to have a rotation on not every you know, that the same four people are working Saturday and Sunday. You know what I mean? That's right. something that got to be watched too. Right. So I, I, I mean, I'm thinking like starting off at this is a good step. And if, if it comes to whatever we'd have in the next week or two, I don't see any reason why we couldn't amend this then. You know what I mean? To a higher rate. Maybe we might even look at that the supervisor might need more. And you know what I mean? But we got to start somewhere, right. and I think once you get it in a rotation, and I, I even with the the park the director, I said to him, you have to be fair to everybody and make sure that the same person does not get the overtime on Saturday and Sunday, because that way you're going to lo lose lifeguards. You have to put if you have four of them, then the next weekend the other four have the option. Now they could not, you know say I don't want to work it, then you go back on the rotation. But I think. I don't know if we're getting too far ahead of ourselves by just adjusting what, what we have here now. You know what I mean? And like I said, in two weeks from now, we can amend this again. Sure. You know, see how it works, put it in, take it easy. Mm -hmm. And I think we did have some thought in it to have it at that rate. And we might have another thought in two weeks from now. Sure. I, I know? remind the public specifically that last year out of the 101 days of summer, 29 days we could not... Uh, uh, charge and again you just multiply that out times 3,000 so you're looking anywhere really between being able to fill those spots and we're looking at five lifeguards on duty right four lifeguards and one supervisor that's optimal because you can open up all three sections of the beach when we don't have five and again this is in this new year with this new structure that's out there with the lifeguard supervisor talk about risk so now instead of having a thousand people in three swimming areas, you might have them in two swimming areas or even one swimming areas. Talk about a, a challenging environment for a lifeguard to include the, the challenge of not being able to actually see to the bottom. Now you have the potential of anywhere from zero to 800 people into one small swimming section versus dispersed over three if you're not gonna be able to incentivize uh, these individuals uh, to work on the days that are currently, if, if at best, have minimal coverage, which is two lifeguards, one in the chair, one in the lifeguard station. Um, in regards to two or three weeks from now readdressing it, that is not gonna provide us the opportunity to get new men, women, boys and girls certified and into our system. It takes us weeks to onboard a new person. The fact is also during the, the summer months, you see a dearth, a lack of certification, recertification courses. So if you don't get those young men and women, boys and girls now, you're not getting them because they're at Lehigh and they're at Palmerton, they're at Weatherly. You're not going to incentivize them to change mid-course. And even if they would do that, we'd, we'd rob from Peter, be it Lehigh and Palmerton or Weatherly, right, doing a disservice to our other communities. We have to onboard them. And we know as a minimum that's going to take two weeks, and more than likely it's going to take three or four weeks, even if uh, that individual was certified. You know, so again, I, I think we're, again, sometimes you got to go ahead and reach out there. We can always readjust and lower the salary just as easily as we can raise it. I would rather start at high and lower it versus going low and, and trying to raise it and not being able to fill our, our chairs out there. One quick yeah. question. Of those yeah. 29 days, yeah. how many were uh, weather-related closures? 
And no, largely not a long duty. None of those 29 days were weather closures. 12 of them occurred on weekends, but that there was not a full weather closure day of those 29 days where we did. Those were swim at your own risk, not weather closures. And where do yeah. we stand at staffing now on lifeguards? Yeah. Well, I think I uh, talked to him yesterday. Uh, I think he had one recommendation sent down, mm -hmm. and uh, he has two more that are inquiring or yeah. that he's looking at right now. Yeah. That's the last I heard. Yeah, I think it was seven possible. I didn't. I printed it out. I didn't pull it off my yeah, computer. Yeah, and I, I think there's yeah. seven possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't. Some of them might be coming in. I think by the was it the thirteenth or yeah, something. Yeah, there's one like coming that. in fifteen June because yeah. she's coming from out of yeah, state. Yeah, one into some, Is that to know. fill the four positions? No, they have four positions. Well, they have three chairs and one in the guards are in the right. yeah. the, the okay. first the station. Yeah. So they technically need eight in a day, and there's seven. So it's gonna oh. it's gonna be giving over time. To somebody during, you know, what I mean, if there's right, only yeah. seventy, you need eight for right. the, yeah. the rotation. And, and, and are some returnees? Um, yeah, there's a couple. There yeah. are. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. Well, the other thought I had as well is uh, maybe the one of the quarter percent increase now, uh, not percent, but the time in a quarter. Uh, come August, when the kids go back to school, then maybe it really is feasible to uh, increase it to that time and a half. Cause mm -hmm. It gives more incentives of if the kids are at a local college, you know, the incentive to come back. That's when we really start mm -hmm. really, uh, running into the problem with lifeguards is in August, September, over the Labor Day weekend because the kids return to school. Okay. Okay. I, I don't, if I could go back to the first motion, the 1365 to 1506, is, is that it? Mm hmm. Can someone confirm that's a one and a quarter versus something other than that? I didn't bring this yeah, I just that. checked. Uh, and I didn't have a scale for the yeah. supervisor, so that. Well, right, I see. Yeah, I just, yeah so kind of got to. Because it should be right around $3 and something additional. It should be in the almost the $17 range, for right? up with 1706 yeah 1706 yeah that would be if we went one and a quarter that'd be seven uh, 1706 and then like you, your um, other motion would be taking it to twenty dollars for the supervisor mm -hmm. so we do have that that motion to amend uh, open yet so I was oh, we saw. In the first motion? Yeah, it was a little a little less than than what you really want should have been seven well, 1706, where's that with our scales? Lisa, do you have that? What's I don't have oh, okay. What's closest to 1706? And they are a two? Yes. It's closer to a J step. 2J? Mm -hmm. it's J is 1705. Oh, that's right there. All right. And then the, the twenty dollars an hour would be closest to again the supervisor. That's one. one. Uh, that is closest one. to That's a a J is nineteen ninety eight. One J nineteen ninety eight. Two J. If I were not mistaken, that other rate would have been uh, right at the end of the scale. Or over again, okay. yeah. So, yeah, yeah. If we could go ahead, Bob, and, and maybe reconsider, and I, I'd make a motion once we clean this one up. Let's all right, let's clean this one up. So, but I want to, what do we need to do? We need to, the modification motion to uh, amend the right. uh, rate for one lifeguard supervisor. $16 per hour grade S1A for Monday through Friday, mm -hmm. and $20 per hour for Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. Right. And what we really want to do, though, is modify it to the S1J, which is 1998, because that's on our scale. Keep it on our scale. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. So if, if Commissioner Noxie makes that modification to his uh, 
motion that I would go ahead and second that to 1998 and then would ask us to reconsider the vote. So much for, for a short meeting. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we are right. <laughs> okay, so we have a motion. to modify the salary and uh, yeah. increase the S1J and yeah. uh, 1998. Yeah. 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 And a All second? Right. Yeah, I'll second that. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to poll the board. Uh -huh. Mr. Sabercha? Yes. Mr. Honor? I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now I'll make a motion to reconsider uh, the first one. Uh, first, the move to reconsider. Okay. And then I'll make a motion to reconsider. I'll second that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Zerucha? Yes. Mr. Honor? Yes. Mr. Lukasevich? Yes. Mr. Notestein? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so then I guess I, I'll go ahead and move to, to adjust to a, to a 2J 1705. I'll second. Mr. Sivirchak? Yes. Mr. Honor? Yes. Mr. Lucas Seven? Yes. Mr. Nostein? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 